Okay, Wargamers, in today's video we have not one, not two, but three sets of Rhino doors and front plates from Forge World. Okay, Wargamers, let's do this. So I collect the Salamanders for my Space Marines. I've also got a small Death Guard force which is the Dark Imperium plus um, the Conquest, Warhammer Conquest magazine. My friend Steve does Space Wolves, so I thought I would get the three sets of doors. We'll take a look at them um, and we'll see what they look like. All right, so we're going to start with the Death Guard. So we'll just uh, open these up. I don't know. Yeah, I think these are going to need cut. All right, we come. So, here is, oh, let's zoom down rather than lift it up so we don't block the light. There we go. That is very, very nice. It's very simple. Nice clean lines, which <laughs> not something one would expect from the Death Guard. Little bit of mole lines there, but that is trivial to clean. Yeah, these are very, very nice. It's a very nice front plate. There's the, yeah. And the two doors are, I think, identical. Um, certainly I can't see anything. Yeah, I like those. They'll be very nice. So next we'll do the Space Wolves. Go out you pop doors. So the front plate. Yeah, let's zoom down again. Yeah, that is nice. The sixth legion. Very again, simple, wonderfully simple, but yet I think that will be very effective when painted up. Yeah, I like that. Let's get the light in a bit closer. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And the doors. And a little bit of extra flashing. Um, ah, now these ones, as you can see, one of them is going to be one side, and one of them is going to be the other side. This is important. Unless you want the wolves to face backwards, pay attention to which way around you're putting them in. Uh, and that, yeah. So these are very, very simple. I like those. Now, lastly, the salamanders. And let's just zoom in. Yeah, and these are actually probably the most complex of the three sets. You've got the lovely flames with the coals, the hammers, and whatever the hell those little symbols are on the sides. I don't know. But these, again, wonderfully simple. Uh, yeah, a bit of flash there, that was all. Yeah, those are nice. And the doors. Again, you've got the uh, left and right side. Whoops. Can I zoom in a bit more? Yep. So yeah, left and right doors, very nice. So um, one thing I wanted to confirm was the doors are the same size as the Rhino door, or the door that comes with the Storm Raven gunship, and yes, that is perfect. So that should fit the Storm Raven gunship. So. Do I think these are worth the money? I think definitely. Um, not maybe if you've got a force of seven, eight, nine rhinos that you want to put together for some obscure, insane reason, which is usually the best reason for doing anything in Warhammer 40,000, let's be honest. But if you've got one rhino, maybe two, you want the centerpiece. Um, they'll also work on a razorback, which is one of the reasons um, I might put it together. Uh, stick it on a razorback, obviously with Primaris you can't use them in the Rhino, so the Razorback may be a better option. They also work on the 
the big beauty of a Storm Raven. Um, I'm sure there are other vehicles they fit on as well. Uh, I think when I get my next Repulsor from the Warhammer Conquest magazine, I may buy the Salamander doors for that. Uh, that, I think, would look very, very good. Um, but yeah, I think definitely these are worth the money. Uh, they'll look very good on a fully painted up Rhino or Storm Raven or Razorback or wherever you put them. Alright, until next time then, bye bye.